So we are the lead consultant and the conservation architects. So we essentially lead the team of consultants who have been put together to create this project um, using the client's brief. It's gone remarkably well, to be honest. Um, we have encountered a lot of issues, but on this project specifically, we've worked very well as a team, um, all parties, and any issues that have cropped up, we've managed to, to deal with. And yeah, as you say, we're coming towards the end. Um, there's still some surprises probably around the corner, but so far, so good. Um, so much so that we've been able to add some works in, to be honest, that we didn't think we were able to do at the beginning of the project, but we're now seeing that there is a chance to complete some additional works. Well, one of the main issues that we encountered was once the scaffold came up and we had access to see and touch the building that we hadn't before at the beginning, we found that the cornices underneath where we stood here on the north side and the south side were in much worse condition than possible to see from the ground. So that has um, brought in quite a lot of work to the project which we didn't really allow for at the beginning. Okay, so because of the amount of erosion within the, the cornice itself, um, due to some historic cement repairs that have been done, um, we've had to take out quite a lot of the stonework and replace it. Now, these stone units are so big and deep that we was never going to strip the whole balustrade and all of the cornice down. So we've had to indent them. So what we've got is some very, very large units that have been chopped right back. Um, you can see how far back they've gone. Um, these bottom sections even further into the wall. And then they're dropped in and fed onto dowels and refitted. And they've been very, very carefully moulded here to replicate the originals um, to match. And we're just in the process of, of installing them now. So they've all been worked away by one of our subcontractors, Mono Masonry, in their yard and delivered to site. And then we're installing them here, ready to go. We've got some consoles and uh, medullions to go in, but it's, the progress is good. We've got a certain amount of money to deliver emergency repairs, so we're not getting carried away, we're just fixing things that are potentially going to lead to further issues um, and just attacking the, the main elements. It's more the balusters where they failed at the top and they're you know, at risk of collapsing and coming off. Um, the statue at the far end, which has been, that was quite a big surprise when we actually found out what was going on with that. That was a big statue that was very top heavy and it was at risk of falling off. Much like an urn to the side, apparently in the 70s, did fall off. This statue was very close, so that's been quite a big surprise for the Masons and we've had to take it apart and really, as a team again, kind of work out a solution to stick it all back together. It's, yeah, one of the you know, greatest projects to work on. It's a grade one listed building of such high significance. Um, politically, it was such an important building and all the history that's come back that has led to everything that you see here. So, yeah, having the opportunity to help save it and to help solve some of the issues that the client's going to potentially deal with for the next decades that they look after it, it's great. Um, it's a real yeah, honour and privilege to work on a building like this, especially with the team, all the skills that get brought into a project like this and the talent and yeah, it's a really happy place to be working.